when we go to Jerusalem, the city of the house of God. Pilgrim people, we seek the Lord, the Lord of the house of God. On we go to Jerusalem, the city of the house of God. Pilgrim people, we seek the Lord, the Lord of the house of God. Each God is proclaims His praises, each declares Him Lord of all. Countless millions sing His glory, answering His pilgrim call. On we go to Jerusalem, the city of the house of God. Pilgrim people, we seek the Lord, the Lord of the house of Rome. My dear brothers and sisters, during this celebration, let us pray for these intentions. From the Archdiocese of Hyderabad, this Mass is offered for the Vivani TV Corpus Fund donors, Tuma Rajaradi, Amruta, on their wedding anniversary, for good health and thanking God for all the graces received by family members. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, and Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. Thanksgiving Mass, may God bless with good health and the abundance offered by Rosemary and family members. Along with these intentions, let us also bring all our petitions to the altar of the Lord and pray. The merciful love of the Lord fills the earth, but the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, reign. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to this Holy Eucharistic celebration. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today's liturgy of the Word welcomes us to meditate that Jesus is the shepherd and he is the gate to the heaven. So when we meditate that Jesus is the shepherd and we are all the witnesses, testimonies for his shepherdess, because he continually, abundantly blesses us, blesses with the favors that from above. And as we partake in this Holy Eucharistic celebration, let us all let us remember the moments where where we could not recognize, where we could not hear the voice of the shepherd and ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that have greatly sins in my thoughts, in my words, in what have and in what have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through, through my most usual fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. We praise you, we 
bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only we God and Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Almighty our living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Chapter 2, verses 20 to 25. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Chapter 2, verses 20 to 25. Beloved, if when you do good and suffer for it, you endure. This is a gracious thing in the sight of God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example, so that you might follow in his steps. He committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth. When he was revealed, he did not reveal in return. When he suffered, he did not treat him but continued entrusting himself to him who judges justly. He himself bore our sins 
in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were straying like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your soul. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Has spoken to his people, Hallelujah, and his wisdom also means, Hallelujah. God has spoken to his people, Hallelujah, and his wisdom also means, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, o Lord. Chapter 10, verses 1 to 10. At the time, Jesus said, "Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs climbs in by another way." That man is a thief and a robber, but he who he enters by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him. But they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure of speech Jesus used to be them. But they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are the thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out find and pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and life it abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we have a lot of characteristics for Jesus Christ. Among them, the picture of Good Shepherd is a pivotal and we know the picture of good shepherd in the bible and we continually meditate that, Je that jesus christ a god of Abbey, is a good shepherd and now today through the liturgy of the word the church welcomes us to meditate that to meditate and believe and have dependence on the good shepherd i would like to bring to your notice the way our children are grown. If they are grown in the village, they know what is the sheep and who are the shepherds. If the, if the children are grown in the cities, it is very hard to explain to them or it is very hard for them to understand the picture, the picture of good shepherd. The picture of good shepherd, they cannot understand. Even if they want to see the sheep, that is the sheep is not available because they are somewhere but they, they are very much pretty sure the mutton or the meat of the sheep so that is where our children are so my dear brothers and sisters I want you to reflect with me before we conclude we, we come to an understanding who is the shepherd or the application of the shepherd uh, the shepherdness welcomes us so our patriarchs our patriarchs are the people of Israel. 
there were more of them they were shepherds and especially most of them were nomads they were they, were, they used to uh, go to place to place and live and along with them they used to have cattle and the sheep we hear this the that the uh, patriarchs were uh, nomads in the book of genesis chapter 4 verse 2 and about their shepherdness or the patriarchs were shepherd we can observe this in book of deuteronomy chapter 26 verse 5 so my dear brothers and sisters the metaphor of the shepherd leading flock expresses that shepherd is the leader shepherd is the leader and a companion shepherd is the leader and a companion along with the sheep so the, he leads to the green pastures and he leads them as a companion that was the feeling that was the relationship so that's why they are able to meditate that jesus or god of yahweh was a strong man was a strong god that's why they say the shepherd should also be the strongest man because he should be able to defend them from the evil and he should be able to defend them from all the beast wild animals the strong man alone can do this in the same manner the god whom we worship whom we were adore he always saves us he defends us from the beast from the temptations and from the evil world that's why we have the reason to believe in jesus christ who is the good shepherd my dear brothers and sisters for example we have a beautiful illustration in the through the life of king david when he was shepherd we hear the story from the book of first book of samuel chapter 17 verses 34 to 37 here when his cattle and especially the herds of the sheep were attacked by a lion he seizes it he seizes the lion by the jaw strikes it strikes it and kills it and defends its own his own herds my dear brothers and sisters and also the shepherd needs to be gentle we hear that from the life of jacob the brother of Esau. In the book of genesis chapter 33 verses 13 and 14 he says he makes a statement or gives a uh, he sends a message to his brother Esau. that is I am encumbered, encumbered with the flocks and herbs, herds, he says. And there are suckling sheep. If I am away from them, even for a single day, I think they will die. Hence, I will come to you. I will proceed to you more slowly. That was the statement. That was the message uh, sent to his brother Eshaw by jacob my dear brothers and sisters so in the same way this has to be meditated well our god as a shepherd has to be very strong at the same time he has to be very slow sometimes in the same manner the god is very strong he defends us from every evil he defends us from the beast from this from the secular world so continue to believe him continue to have dependent on him secondly you have to come to him with a converted heart as jacob says i will come to you slowly this is the statement he comes he wanted to come to reach his brother slowly because he has some other relationships he has some bond with the cattle with the herds in the same manner god has developed a great love towards his sheep as a, the real shepherd he has a tremendous love for every one of us so let us not worry about our sins but let us worry that god let us worry and be believe that god forgives us god accepts us so let us go to him and believe as a strong god and finally my dear brothers and sisters there is a different story here again god of yahweh wanted to lead his people through his personalities through his uh, instruments called prophets he sent Moses to lead them. He sent Aaron. He sent Joshua. He sent judges. He sent kings and everybody. But they were not faithful. Not only the sheep, even the shepherds were not faithful. They failed. 
they had a rebellion against god so here god says i will carry you here after and another story my dear brothers and sisters god provokes the prophets or sends his uh, statement or sends his uh, curse on the shepherd you unfaithful shepherds you have you started living at the expense of the sheep hereby you will be you will be certainly be cursed this he says through the book of ezekiel chapter 34 verses 1 to 10 this is where we find the strongest words strongest words and very hard so this is where we see a prophecy is said against the shepherds so that's what we have to understand my dear brothers and sisters the people whom we believe sometimes they lead us astray but the good shepherd will not lead us astray he defends us he saves us he saves us and he guarantees our redemption my dear brothers and sisters so as we continue to meditate we need to meditate upon jesus christ as the good shepherd he says in the in the gospel according to st matthew chapter 9 verse 36 he says he sends apostles to the sheep so that is the concern that is the love that jesus had towards his sheep towards his people that means they have to be properly trained they have to be properly exposed and disposed for the kingdom of god and we also uh, read and strongly believe in the gospel according to saint luke chapter 12 verse 32 he says o little flock o little flock have no fear this is the promise have no fear i am your shepherd i am your good shepherd this is the promise of the lord my dear brothers and sisters even through today's gospel reading taken from the gospel according to saint john chapter 10 verses 1 to 10 he says i came here i came here to give you life the life it it the life as an abundant life this is the promise of the lord my dear brothers and sisters as we continue as we continue to meditate upon the shepherdness of the lord we also need to continue to meditate upon the gate the gate to heaven so in the in the in the history of palestine they used to have a pro- different kind of uh, upbringing of the sheep so there was only one gate but there were many shepherds they used to take turns in order to guard the, th- the sheep but here comes jesus he comes as a single shepherd he will saves from a, he saves his sh- sheep from everything from anywhere so even if his uh, life is demanded he is ready to offer that and we see jesus christ offering himself on the cross the cross of calvary so my dear brothers and sisters as we meditate upon this shepherdness of the lord let us understand let us understand jesus christ is the only god is the only god who defends us who saves us so let us have complete trust in him during the celebration and our special intervention and a special grace so that we will be a proper sheep for him my dear brothers and sisters let us all stand and profess our faith i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen god our loving father as we continue to celebrate your sacred mysteries thank you lord for the gift of this eucharist thank you for being our shepherd lord as we continue to participate and celebrate your mysteries we ask you we ask you to bless our good shepherd pope francis 
the bishops, the clergy, and the laity whom you have called for your service. Lord, be with them, help them, mould them, so that we be we we will be considered and declared as faithful shepherds. We for this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Merciful Father, today's liturgy of the word lets us know or invites us that we should know our sh our shepherd. We hear through the scripture that the sheep listen to the voice of the shepherd and the shepherd knows the sheep name by name. Lord, yes, Lord, you have carved us. You have elected us, you have selected, and you have anointed us for your service. So be, we continue to be with us, with the sheep, and also with the shepherds. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Loving Father, we pray for Divyavani TV channel. It's a great platform for the evangelization to the rest of the world. Lord, thank you for this TV channel. As we thank you, we also remember the special donors, Corpus Fund donors, and the people who are continually, generously contributing their own heart towards this evangelization. Bless their families, bless their family members and their intentions. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for our personal and community needs. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we stand at the table, you said, Yours as we eat our bread, our hearts can forget. We are the signs of your life, it has said, We are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts, we love you, take our lives. Oh Father, we are yours, we are yours. Your holy people send words in your blood. Spirit will let angry await your foot. Both of we are, we are brothers to you. We are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh Father, we are yours. We are yours. Pray, my dear brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the loving Father. May, may the, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the for praise, praise and glory of his name, name for our good, good and the good, good of all the holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the world order destroyed, our universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, uh, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Paul Antony our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in our mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heads to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, found by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit let us offer each other the meaningful sign of peace, peace, peace. lamb the of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those Call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring me to life everlasting. Amen. Prayer of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive into my soul. Since I cannot this moment, Receive sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. 
I embrace you if you as you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit to me separated from you. Amen. Amen. With prayer and joyful song Our Father's house is home to us We know that we belong The bread is broken, wine is poured A feast to lift us up Then thank the Lord who gives himself As food and saving come the door is open and go in and take your place by right For you be chosen as his guest to share his love and light The bread is broken, wine is poor, heaven's to lift us up then thank the Lord who gives himself as food and saving cup. We come together as the two came to the upper room. Our host is Jesus Christ the Lord, now risen from the tomb. The bread is broken, wine is poured, a feast to lift us up. Then thank the Lord who gives himself as food and saving cup. With prayer and joyful song Our Father's house is home to us We know that we belong The bread is broken, wine is poured A feast to lift us up Then thank the Lord who gives himself As food and saving cup the door is open and go in and take your place by right For you be chosen as his guest to share his love and light The bread is broken, wine is poured, a feast to lift us up then thank the Lord who gives himself as food and saving cup. We come together as the two came to the upper room. Our host is Jesus Christ the Lord, now risen from the tomb. The bread is broken, wine is poured, a feast to lift us up. Then thank the Lord who gives himself as food and saving cup. The Good Shepherd has risen, who laid down his life for his sheep, and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Go, the mass is ended, 
children of the Lord. Take his word to others as you heard he spoken to you. Go the masses and then go and tell the world. The Lord is good, the Lord is kind, and He loves everyone. Go the masses and then take His love to all. Glad in all who meet you, fill their hearts with hope and courage. Go the masses and then fill the world with love. And give to all what you receive, the peace and joy of Christ.